Welcome dear students. Okay. So, for example, if you take history, for example, if you take the subject history, how to approach towards the subject history means, in history there are three parts, ancient Indian history, medieval Indian history, and modern Indian history. Ancient Indian history, more medieval Indian history, and modern Indian history. Okay, in history, Indian history again categorized into ancient, medieval, modern. And ancient history falls from Stone Age, Stone Age to Harsha Vardhan. Harsha Vardhan. This is the timeline of this ancient Indian history. Starts from 3 lakh 48,000 BC to like 48,000 BC to it ended around 670 AD. 670 AD. Okay. Coming to medieval India. Medieval India actually early medieval India starts from 712 AD to it will continue up to 1526 AD. In this you will come across the Sultans, you will come across Mughals like Akbar, Humayun, Aurangzeb. Okay, all these topics will fall in medieval India. Coming to modern India, from the arrival, arrival of Europeans, arrival of Europeans to partition or you can write like independence. Independence. These are the areas. Okay, there are many topics in these major topics. You cannot cover all the areas, then what to do? What to do? for approach of this examination. You need to go on the basis of importance. Okay, like the travelers who visited India during ancient times. Okay, there are many travelers who visited India. Then again, how can I segregate this chapter? You can segregate this chapter on the basis of importance. During the reign of a prominent king, for example, instance example, you take who among the following, who among the following visited India during Chandragupta Maurya, Chandragupta Maurya, this is the heading, this is the question which was asked in previous examinations. You take options. Strabo, Pliny, Megasthenes, Aryan. Such options were given. Okay. Why such question was asked in the examination means because Chandragupta Maurya is a very, very powerful ruler. And he is the founder of Mauryan dynasty. And he was responsible for defeat of Nandas. And he was responsible for the defeat of Seleucus Nictor, one of the Greek king. Okay. So, some importance was hidden in the area of Chandragupta. That's the reason they are questioning who among the following traveler, I didn't written traveler, traveler visited during Chandragupta Maurya Re. Re means in the period of Chandragupta rule, who visited India as a traveler? Okay, the answer is Megasthenes. Megasthenes. He visited the court of Chandragupta Maurya. And after visiting Chandragupta court, he also mentioned his representation, his identities, his observation in his book called Indica. So that's the reason he is important. You don't want about Strabo, you don't want about Pliny, you don't want about Aryan. You require only Megasthenes, you require only Chandragupta. That means you can segregate on the basis of powerful rulers. Chandragupta Maurya, powerful ruler, you need to understand about him. Ashoka, 
very powerful ruler you need to understand him and during the reign of chandra uh, ashoka is there any traveler visited india you need to understand this concept okay after the mauryan empire who was very powerful who was very powerful there was indo greece indo greece you need to know about a small information regarding indo greece apart from indo greece you need to understand about guptas because there is another person in guptas that is kalidasa kalidas what in the court of Court of this is the previous year question paper. It is not related to travels, but I am quoting the exam. Okay, Kalidas worked in the court of. They given option Chandragupta, Chandragupta Maurya, Chandragupta one, Chandragupta two, none of the above. They formulated such question. So this is very important. Because in Gupta's rule, Chandragupta rulers or Gupta rulers were very very famous. Okay, you studied some Chandragupta, but you need to be very careful at the tail end also. Gupta's were different, Maurya's are different. Here Chandragupta Maurya, here Chandragupta only Gupta. That means Maurya is not part of Kalidas. Because the question is who worked in the court of Gupta. Kalidasa worked in the court of. Sorry, question is Kalidasa worked in the court of. Okay, he belongs to Gupta time period, not Maurya time period. So you can eliminate one answer. Okay, and there are two options, reasonably same, Chandragupta one and Chandragupta. If you precisely refer this information, it is very very easy question. Kalidasa is in the court of Chandragupta two. In Chandragupta two, there are nine ratnas. Navaratnas. Okay, so that information is relevant. During Chandragupta II itself, one of the Chinese traveler came visited India, Farmian. Farmian. This is important. He is important. Okay, Megasthen is one traveler, Farmian one traveler, and one more traveler is is there during Harsha Vardhan. He is Kuyan Sen. He is Kuyan Sen. So hardly if you refer, refer there would be only five to ten travelers who has so importance in the history area. That area you need to cover. You need to cover Chandragupta Maurya. He is very powerful. You need to cover Ashoka. He is very powerful. You need to cover Samudragupta. He is very powerful. He, you need to cover Chandragupta too. He is very powerful. He patronized some literary developments and other developments. So in such a way, if you go through this subject history, it will make you easier. Otherwise, it is also difficult. Not only history subject, every subject is like that. For example, you take polity now. In modern India, you require freedom struggle is very important. Freedom struggle, freedom fighters, as well as the newspapers and the generals are very important. Amrit Bajar Patrika published by. Okay, such papers and Generals were important. Kesari paper was published by. Kaumudi Samvadam was published by. Such papers are very very relevant for your preparation. You can exclude some areas. You can include some areas. If you go in such a way, it will make you very easier to understand the subject. I said you hardly if you rotate the papers. There are five to ten travelers during the powerful king rules. If you understand these five to ten rulers, you make a chart. Farmian attended in the court of Chandragupta II. Megasthenes attended in the court of Chandragupta Maurya. Maurya, Maurya, Maurya. Don't forget this. Maurya is different. Gupta is different. Kuyasan attended the court of Harshavardhan. Okay, this is about ancient. If you come to medieval also, you can make same chart. Hardly three to five names. You come to modern India also, there are hardly three to five names. Overall, you can come across five to ten names. Is it difficult to go through the five to ten names? No, not at all. It will be very very easier if you are referring only small type of information. If you rush with a very big material, it is difficult. 
if i tell you that go through complete life style of chandrugupta maurya along with his sons grandsons wives and some other persons it is difficult no now you segregated that travelers important papers important freedom fighters important rulers and important reforms important books okay kalidasa is very very famous for his literary development so you need to understand the developments of kalidas mega dutam okay ragu vamsham all such books are very very important malavika agnimitra who wrote this you need to make a chart kalidasa works because he wrote many number of dramas okay i hope you are getting my point okay so you take the another another subject also take another subject like quality okay you need to understand the formulation of constitution because constitution will guide you how to rule your people how to deliver your governance what type of government is there is our government is parliamentary system or presidential system the fundamentals you need to understand if you understand fundamentals it is very easy the important areas the constitution formulation is important who worked under the drafting committee such questions were important how many members were there in drafting committee what is drafting committee drafting committee is a committee where they worked for the purpose of developing a constitution okay i said that they worked for the purpose of developing constitution then they they need to have some time for developing that is your question how many days how many days it consumed for constructing a constitution 2 years 11 months 18 days is your answer so such fundamentals are important you come to fundamental rights fundamental rights important areas are important right to equality was mentioned in which of the following article article 14 to 18 talks about right to equality in that right to equality specifically by 14 article you need to understand that. who is the head of state president what is his role okay impeachment procedure will be used for which of the following personality impeachment procedure what do you mean by impeachment procedure and this can be used only for president okay such questions will be asked in your examination that means you need to focus on the fundamental areas fundamental areas if you understand these fundamental areas it is very very easy okay you take geography also you take geography even in geography the important areas like lakes rivers mountains peaks okay crops seasons rainfall these are the important areas if you segregate these areas you can go through lakes you can go through rivers mountains crops and seasons if you understand seasons you can understand rain follows in which of, in which part of india southwest monsoon southwest monsoon that means i am speaking about rainfall hit for the first time okay such questions you can expect they will give some type of cotton jute this type of crops depends for which of the following season kharif season rabi season zain season none of the above all of the above such formulations will be done so you need to segregate this also fundamentals this also fundamentals even you take economy in economy also you get fundamentals you need to focus on the areas of planning there are planning commission and planning commission has given some plans in that plans they had been taken some stands 1% growth 2% growth 3% whatever the growth you need to go go through such areas and something that is what do you mean by capital what do you mean by capital okay the question was asked in your examination preliminary expenses means number 1 capital revenue capital expenditure 
which none of them. Okay, this is the preliminary expenses. That means you need to off the capital expenditure. What you are expending on your preliminary activities. That is called as capital expenditure. A very simple one. You need to understand the fundamentals. If you understand the fundamentals, it is very easy. If you are not understanding the fundamentals, it is very difficult. They will ask about the census, population census. Okay, you can expect the census from 1970s to up to now also. Nothing wrong with that asking of questions. Okay, even they can ask about human development index. They can ask about happiness index. Such areas are important. You need to understand poverty, which is real poverty, which is absolute poverty, which is relative poverty. You need to understand these basic concepts. Whatever I am explaining, all these topics were the basic concepts. They are not critical. You don't require much analysis. Is Parmian presented in the court of uh, Chandrugupta too? Yes. That's the answer. If I ask, the state head was present, yes, that's the answer. You don't require why he became state, uh, state head, what is the role, you don't require that. You require the information of fundamentalities. If you understand these fundamentals, it is very easy. Make a clear-cut note while you are preparing for any topic. Make a clear-cut note. You segregate which chapter is very important. By that segregation, it will be useful whenever you are going to examination. It is easy to revise. I am asking a question. Is it easy to refer 1000 page book or is it easy to refer 10 pages book? You need to answer me. Which is very, very better one. It is very better one. After understanding the 1000 pages book, you need to make 10, 10 pages book. And 10 pages book, you need to play like a... 2020 match. Everything should be there in the 10 pages book, which was taught by that 1000 page book. This is the real preparation for your examination. Go for fundamentals. Go for the important areas and relevant areas. Don't rush for materials. Don't rush for the statements given by besides of you. Sincerely prepare for the topic. Sincerely go through the fundamentals and it will help you for your examination. Okay, so have this analysis, now start the preparation, do well, clear the examination, you will feel very happy. Okay, that's about the awareness of general studies in SSC JE examination. SSC JE examination. All the best for your examination, prepare.